Okay, you guys. It happened. It happened. All right, so I really wanted to vlog the entire experience, but you know, when it actually happens, it's very chaotic, you go crazy. I'm very swollen right now, so pardon. But, all right, so yesterday, May 29th, I was recording my podcast, It's Happening with Snooki and Joey, and I'm laying on the couch, you know, just relaxing because I can't move. This baby is like huge and I'm dying. And all of a sudden, I'm peeing myself. I had two kids before. My water breaking, the first time it like trickled out and then they had to break my water. The second time it was like a little pee here, a little pee there. This time, it was insane. It was like Niagara Falls out of my crotch. Um, it went, it soaked my entire pajama pants. It soaked my entire couch. I had to scrub it. I ran upstairs. Um, I went to the shower. It was coming out in the shower. Um, and then I was getting dressed. I got into the car. Gianni brought me to the hospital. Soaked through my, my maternity pants. Soaked all over the, the car seat, or my car, my seat, my seat in the front. Soaked all over that. And then I got up, I was walking into the hospital. It was dripping down my leg. So then Gianni got me a wheelchair. And I was sitting in that, and it dripped all over the wheelchair. And then I got finally got into the room where they were you know, putting IVs in me, and it got all over the bed. So it had to be like three gallons of milk of water coming out of me gushing out of me, disgusting. So I didn't expect that part. So that was something new that I experienced. Um, but yeah, got to the hospital around five o'clock and they had to induce me, or not induce me, they had to put a balloon up in me because I wasn't dilating. So that hurt, that was annoying. But then I got the epidural and I felt nothing. And I was in labor for six hours. Now that was annoying because my third child, do you think he would just walk right out of there? He didn't. So it took six hours for that. And at 2.30 in the morning on May 30th, my little nugget Angelo popped out. He's sleeping right now, he's so cute. He popped out at 2.30, May 30th, and um, I didn't feel a thing, thank God. So, I always get the epidural because I don't want to feel shit. Like, no, thank you. I'm not trying to be a hero. I don't want to feel shit. Um, so, I didn't feel anything. Thank you to Barnabas Hospital and everyone that was on my case. You guys were amazing, and ugh, we killed it. Um, and I pushed three times. He was out. Done. Um, and he weighed, by the way, 7 Point five pounds, 19 inches. I'm like four foot. I can't, I can't carry that bitch. So that really hurt. <laughs> that hurt, I couldn't walk, that's why I was so uncomfortable. So, ooh, I scared him. Um, he's a beast. He's gonna be a beast. So my other kids were six five, he was seven five. Get it, Angelo. Um, so yeah, we had him. He's perfectly healthy. This is my first day in the hospital. I probably got four hours of sleep. Um, but thank you for my amazing skincare that I use and my fake lashes because I feel good. Um, but I'm breastfeeding. He's doing amazing, you guys. Um, he was born 2.30 in the morning. Angelo James Laval. So Angelo, I just love that name. Giovanna, Lorenzo, and Angelo. I mean, do die. They, they all end in vowels. I love it. And then his middle name is James for Gianni's grandfather and Laval, because that's our last name. So he's doing amazing. He's sleeping right now. He latched onto my boobs, so that was great. And right now my asshole really hurts. So that's great. Um, the epidural obviously wore, wore off, so I'm feeling um, the aftermath of pushing. I didn't tear you guys, so that's great but that means I have a white set vagina, I guess, because I gave birth to three kids. But um, I didn't tear, everything's great down there. Um, it's a process, if you haven't had kids, it's a process to go to the bathroom after you gave birth because you have to put on this huge diaper, then you have to put on this huge pad, and then you put on another little pad, and then you put on this cooling pad. So you have like five layers of sandwich pads on your vagina, 
And then they have, um, oh, I love Witch Hazel. The Witch Hazel pads, they're nice and cool. You put it on there and it's great. So right now my asshole is burning. I'm really scared for the first poop. They just gave me a stool softener, so we'll see how that goes. But um, other than that, you guys, everything is going great. I'm actually gonna vlog. I'm really sorry I didn't vlog me getting here and the whole process. But then again, like we wanted it to be kind of private because when I had Lorenzo, I had Lorenzo on Snooki and JWoww, and then Giovanna I had on Snooki and JWoww. So we never really had um, a delivery where it was just us. Yeah? Could I come in? Could I come in? Could I come in? Oh, my mommy's here. My daddy, I'm doing a vlog. Doing a Say vlog. hi to my fans. Hi. Hi, fans. Hi, fans. They can't see you. Get in <laughs> the okay, frame. Me. Okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. Alright guys, so we'll be back once the kids get here. I'm going to show you guys um, the kids reaction to the baby because they haven't met the baby yet. So wish us luck. Here's Angelo. He's sleeping. <laughs> They're here. Ready? Ready? Who wants to see their baby brother? <laughs> 